back again with another reaction. Yo, some good old slap ham today. That's what we're about to get into. Who came up? Oh, oh, who came up? Who coming upstairs? Yo, close that, yo. Thank you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. All right. So, my bad, y'all. But look, we're going to jump into this slap hand video. And I just want y'all to do two things. Get your drinks and your snacks and sit on the couch. Well, that's three. <laughs> and watch this. That's four. Video with me. Lego. Content. Just like this. A spine tingling video recently emerged from the Facebook page 103.1 Brigada Marty City, a radio station that received a genuinely hair raising submission from one of its listeners. Captured in an unknown hospital, a patient started filming after hearing some strange noises. Take a look at what they caught on film. <laughs> What the fuck is that feet, bro? What? Watching that again as they scan around the yo, room, they yo, spot a set of legs yo, under listen, a bed. Yo, listen, listen. Already in first video. Crazy. The fuck out of here. Into the row. <laughs> when they look up, there's no one there. Yo, what? <laughs> Bro, he's still in there by himself. You tripping, bro? Quick to embrace a more paranormal explanation, oh, positing that these legs may belong to a ghostly presence. Hospitals, where their history of life and death have long been regarded as prime locations for ghost sightings. The intense emotions, <coughs> profound experiences, and sometimes tragic outcomes that occur within hospital walls contribute to the belief that residual energies or spirits may linger. Tales of ghostly nurses, phantom patients, and eerie corridors have fueled the idea that hospitals serve as conduits for paranormal activity, making them a subject of fascination and trepidation for many. So is this really a ghost caught on camera? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Yo, that's creepy as shit. What? Here's an odd one shared by a woman named Julie Hogarth Williams over on Facebook. In the photo Julie posted, two young children could be seen innocently what? playing around. One of the kids is reaching out to touch a television. But what captures immediate attention is a mysterious hand seemingly emerging from the TV itself. Julie provided some background to accompany the photo, sharing a deeply like personal super narrative. That super creepy. Her father had passed away at the age of 52, five years before the birth of her youngest son, Jai. But it's she like, firmly it's believes weird. that the hand in the photograph what, what belongs it to her like. don't late even really father like a, watching over her children. It doesn't even look like a person. While some might find this eerie, Julie finds it comforting, Excuse citing me. her familiarity with paranormal activity. A particularly striking detail that Julie noted is that her father always wore a gold wedding band. The hand in the TV appears to be wearing a distinct ring. She also said that the TV was off at the time and that it wasn't mm -hmm. casting a reflection. So the question that what lingers it could be. is whether this photograph indeed captures a moment of a grandfather watching over his family from the could afterlife. Be. Regardless of one's stance on the paranormal, the story adds a touch of sweetness to the eerie image, leaving us all to ponder the mysteries that lie beyond our comprehension. A video shared to our Slaptam subreddit by right. the username Zombie Paranormal has been so causing look. quite a stir across the internet in recent weeks, Listen. and it's not difficult. This was on the thumbnail. I don't even want to look at this shit. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But I'm going to do it for y'all. I'm going to do it. Built to understand why. The clip, which has since gone viral, seems to show a chance encounter on a late night stroll. That's a witch. That's a motherfucking witch, bro. 
I can't look at it. Sorry. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of extra can't, info I'm sorry. on this clip. I don't fuck with shit like that. that. Stopped it from spreading throughout that, TikTok listen, with many comments. That shit is so creepy, so eerie. I can't fuck with it. I'm sorry. Just noting just how eerie the encounter is, mm. despite very little actually happening. She ain't say shit, bro. Nah, so let me know on. if you've Fuck seen you. this clip before. It's trying to stop. Find it it's trying to pause that Drop shit. Thoughts. Slow it down. Nah, come on, man. Stop showing it, bro. Oh, fuck that. I'm cool. That shit hella Chicago, creepy. Chicago, a city steeped in history, <clears throat> culture, and it seems its fair share of eerie legends. Among these tales, none has captivated the imagination quite like that of Resurrection Mary, a prominent figure in the realm of vanishing hitchhiker folklore, a narrative that spans across cultures and regions. Residing in Resurrection Cemetery... I'm just gonna let y'all know Slapham ain't playing no games this time, bro. He not. Located a few miles southwest of Chicago in Justice, Illinois, Resurrection Mary is considered the Windy City's most famous ghost. <coughs> the legend of Resurrection Mary has been whispered through the decades, with the story tracing back its origins to the 1930s. According to reports, several men driving along Archer Avenue, which runs between the Willowbrook Ballroom and Resurrection Cemetery, have claimed to pick up a mysterious female hitchhiker. This enigmatic young woman dressed in a white party dress has been described as having light blonde hair, blue eyes, and sometimes a thin shawl. She's known for her quiet demeanor. As these drivers near Resurrection Cemetery, the hitchhiker inexplicably vanishes into thin air, leaving behind a perplexing tale. Richard Crow, a self-proclaimed full-time ghost hunter, has collected numerous reports of Resurrection Mary, spanning from the 1930s to the present day. Her legend endures, casting a shadow over Archer Avenue. The story of Resurrection Mary begins with a fateful night at the O. Henry Ballroom, now the Willowbrook Ballroom in Willow Springs, Illinois. As the tale goes, Mary had spent the evening dancing with her boyfriend. However, an argument between them escalated, leading Mary to storm out of the ballroom. She began walking up Archer Avenue, but her journey took a tragic turn when she was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. The heart-wrenching discovery of her lifeless body devastated her parents, who laid her to rest in Resurrection Cemetery, clad in a beautiful white dancing dress and matching shoes. The hit-and-run driver responsible for her demise was never apprehended. The legend of Resurrection Mary persists, punctuated by reported sightings and eerie encounters. In 1939, Jerry Palouse recounted an encounter with a woman he believed to be Resurrection Mary. They danced and had a few drinks, and she requested a ride home along Archer Avenue. Yet as they approached Resurrection Cemetery, she vanished, leaving Jerry bewildered. Wow. Over the years, numerous incidents involving Resurrection Mary have been documented. From appearances at nightclubs to encounters with cab drivers and motorists, the tale refuses to fade into obscurity. In 1976, her alleged handprints were reportedly burned into the cemetery's wrought iron fence. Although cemetery officials dismissed the claims as the result of a truck damaging the fence. The mystery surrounding Resurrection Mary's true identity remains unsolved. Some researchers have attempted to link her to Mary Bragovi, who died in a 1934 automobile accident in downtown Chicago, although this theory presents its inconsistencies. In recent years, there has been growing interest in the possibility that she might be Anna Maria Norcus, who met her tragic end in a 1927 auto accident while returning home from the O. Henry Ballroom. Resurrection Mary's enigmatic presence continues to cast a haunting aura over Archer Avenue, reminding all who travel its path that the line between reality and the supernatural can blur in the most unexpected of ways. The legend endures, leaving those who dare to ponder its mysteries with more questions than answers.
In the age of social media, the unexplained and the supernatural often find their way into the spotlight, captivating audiences worldwide. One such case that's left TikTok users on the edge of their seats involves a user known as Maddie Marga Racy, who appears to be living in a house plagued by eerie paranormal occurrences. For some years now, Matt has suspected that his home might be haunted. Strange and eerie occurrences have been spooking the family. Things like eerie whispers, objects moving, and lights turning on and off are all frequent events in this family home. Listen the activity here. eventually became so. Anything weird happens that you can't really explain, like <clears throat> who knocked the cup over when nobody's right there, but I've seen it fall over. Who turned the faucet on? Somebody knocking on the window, but we upstairs. Like, and we don't see the person doing it. Like, what the fuck going on? It's time to go. If there's no explanation, leave. Something that either don't want you there or is just trying to fuck with you. So, I just had to throw that in there. So frequent that Matt was able to capture a lot of the incidents on camera and post them to social media. See, a lot of incidents. Like, how many more in you In this first video, he recounts an incident while engrossed in a game of Call of Duty. Bro, so I'm playing hard. I got my headset on. I got one ear on, one ear off. And I hear somebody whisper in my ear, bro. This is insane. So I go back to playing COD, and then somebody touches my foot, bro. Eventually. Yo, listen to that. Yo, I already know that. Kid. <laughs> the ghost probably was a gamer. He's like, yo, I got next when he died. So what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you can't get mad, bro. This happens. So that's how I know. There's something in the room. There's something Leave. in the house. There's a ghost. And I've been saying it for years. And look at the Oh, shit. The chilling saga continues oh, in the second shit. video, where Matt, once again engrossed in his video game, makes a startling discovery. Look at this. Bro. Bro. Nobody is home. My f***ing family is in Cancun, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Bro, I'm Nearby leaving. Door really closes by itself, prompting him <sighs> to investigate further. You gotta be kidding me. Bro. What the f As he ventures into the hallway, flickering lights downstairs. But why the dog attention. ain't freaking out? Are you f***ing kidding me right now? Are you f***ing kidding me right now? What the f***? Just Descending leave, the stairs, bro. he enters the bathroom to find running water in the sink. A perplexing sight for someone who's supposed to be home alone. Oh. His unease intensifies when he notices a door open that he swears he had left securely locked. Why is this door open? Wow. What the f is going on? A third video paints a similar harrowing picture. Yo, did that shit leave him a I'm note? Card? Hold on. Did that shit leave bro a what note the on the door, bro? What is going on? Look, he left him a note. Third video paints a similar harrowing picture. I'm playing card. My whole PlayStation turns off, and this door opens up by itself, and it was closed because I oh. The lights are once again flickering. This time, he even shows the switches for the lights. And the lights going again. And the lights going again. And right there is the light switches to that light. He investigates further. Nobody's f***ing home. See? Oh. You're tripping. My. God. Eventually, Matt decides to leave his house. While outside, he sees this. Oh. My. God. Did you guys just see that? Bro. I didn't see nothing. In a subsequent video, Matt was captures just more strange flicker? activity while watching TV. Listen, I'm sitting here. Bro got mad guts. Like we're just gonna throw that out there right now, for him to see and deal with this shit if it's real, for him to stay there knowing when he by himself this shit gonna happen, he got mad guts, bro. Cause I'm I'm gonna have people at my crib every fucking day, even when I'm sleeping. Like yo, come hang out, bro. Come hang out. Like we're going we're going to play the game. We're going to chill and shit. Like. 
you tripping, bro. Like, I would have had all my friends over all the time. I probably would have, like, begged my parents to let some of my homies just move in. Fuck out of here. Watching the games, and I heard what sounded like this stove opening close. I'm not even around, bro. That shit, 1,000, I know what it sounds like when the stove opens and closes. The situation takes a peculiar turn when Matt reveals that a paranormal professional advised him to cease filming these incidents, as it could potentially anger the alleged spirits haunting his house further. Matt temporarily relocates to his girlfriend's house, leaving his sister to confront the eerie events he endured. I stopped filming. I had my girl over with me. I left my house for a little bit. And I, um... You know, I've been staying at my girlfriend's house. Smart. The videos have left viewers with Smart. an unsettling mystery. What precisely <coughs> is happening in Matt's house? Today, no updates have emerged regarding the ongoing paranormal activity. One can only hope that Matt finds answers soon and ultimately the peace and solace he seeks in his own home. What mm. the f Yo! The fuck is that? A recent TikTok video uploaded by user Annalise VD Westwee has viewers spooked. Huh. The video features some Could home security footage recorded on December 12th, 2023 at the uploader's residence. At first glance, the video appears to be ordinary security footage. However, it's what unfolds in the first few seconds that has viewers on edge. It is transparent. But then it just gets... Yeah, I don't know, man. A strange shadow appears out of nowhere. Viewers are split on this one. Some say it's nothing more than a classic bug on the lens, yep. but others aren't convinced, noting that the shadow appears humanoid in shape. So what do you think? Ghoul or bug? Cast bug. your votes down below. Bug, man. Before we take a look at some unsettling footage captured in Japan, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. A series of videos posted on TikTok by user CBlueSM has left viewers both fascinated and spooked. Filmed somewhere in Japan, these eerie clips document what the homeowner believes to be paranormal activity in their residence. For some time now, the homeowner has harbored a belief that their house is haunted by an otherworldly presence. In an attempt to document the inexplicable occurrences, they've embarked on a series of experiments to capture evidence of the supernatural. The first video, filmed in an undisclosed location, shows the uploader navigating through the house. Suddenly, they hear some strange footsteps. Oi there. See, here we go. See, 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 I don't be doing all this, bro. Whoa. I'll do this running up the stairs. In the second shit, video, bro. the TikToker stands at the top of a staircase and knocks a few times, seemingly trying to establish communication with any entities that might be present. The motion sensor lights flick on. Ooh. I don't do that, but why is it running right One of the most intriguing bro, like... videos features the uploader using two rolls of toilet paper on a stick, positioning it between the walls of the staircase. The toilet paper unravels seemingly of its own accord, suggesting an unseen presence at the bottom of the stairs. I'll just waste all that toilet paper, bruh.
but the enigma doesn't end there. Another video portrays what appears to be a spirit engaging in a game of Jenga, defying the laws of the physical world. <laughs> This motherfucker playing Jenga with the ghost, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. In this final experiment, something quite extraordinary transpires. Unfortunately, these videos lack substantial context, leaving viewers yeah, to speculate see, about the name. See, you know, they, they smart as fuck over there. So I think it's some just editing, like, that shit just, it looked fake to me. I'm just going to keep it 100. It looked fake nature of the supernatural <clears throat> events depicted. As the mystery deepens, many are left hoping for answers that may one day shed light on these eerie encounters. Until then, these videos continue to captivate and unsettle TikTok users, reminding us that the realm of the unexplained is often stranger than we can even imagine. <laughs> Some of you may not realize we've launched a brand new second channel. It's true crime, it's paranormal mysteries, it's standalone cases that go more in depth. Here's a little snippet. The humid air was alive with the smell of the sea as mm. evening fell on Gulf Breeze, Florida. It was November 11th, 1987, an otherwise typical night in this sleepy beach town. But for Ed Walters, a successful building contractor, it was the start of a strange journey that would catch. Oh, it's like towards the end. And yet subscribed. Let's try and get our new channel over the 100,000 subscriber mark by mid-January. So head on over, smash that subscribe button, turn on channel notifications, and let's launch this bad boy to over 100,000 subscribers. Now, in case you haven't heard the awesome news, we've launched... Listen, that was one of the dopest slap hand videos I've seen, like, for real, for real, by far. It's dope. Like, from beginning, bro, like, it was hitting, it was hitting. Hey, what's here? Hey, love, peace, good vibes. As always, until next time, let go.